Next stop, the winery. Yes, a winery in Oklahoma. It's Gerard Vines, a Tulsa-based wine company. Chris and Jan Gerard own and operate it because of a passion they inherited from Chris's father, George Gerard. For 50 years, three generations have been working on a hybrid grape native to Oklahoma. The whole process is fascinating, and the end result is a tasty Oklahoma surprise. George Gerard hybrids. George Gerard hybrids. And so these are trying to learn to be grown in Oklahoma without mold so we can have a a wine. Make a wine. Make wine here. Well, we're growing them in California also. And we had our first harvest. But they're good. You can spit the seed. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so the the wine comes inside this. Yeah. Yeah. Inside this. From from California. So that tank right there is full of wine. Uh That huge thing is full of wine. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, so what's happening here? We're we're transferring the wine from the big storage tank to the bottle. Oh, you can smell it. It smells good. That's the tasting spout? Uh Uh-huh. Is it for real? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Let's taste it. You want it? Yeah. That is so cool. Okay, so I pop the cork in. Pop the cork in. Okay. Stick your hand up. Pull this out and touch the button. Carol, you want to do a full one? Yes. So, um, this is the easiest to label. My dad started growing grapes in Oklahoma, in Oklahoma City. Uh, in our backyard in 1960, and uh, this is the hobby. He was wanting to grow traditional grape varietals. He fell so why, he just loved wine? And- well, he fell in love with wine in World War II, as a matter of fact. He stopped at a little train station in France, bought a bottle, except didn't even have a label. He had never had wine before, and he took it back and had lunch on the train and fell in love with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm taking my Tulsa Deco Streamline bottle home that I just bottled myself, and gonna have a taste of it. You guys gotta try it too. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs>